fundamental unit of life cell it was discovered or it was named by Robert Hooke in 1665 he came up with the conclusion after observing a wooden cock slice with the help of a primitive microscope What he saw was uh, something like this. When he observed the cock, the wooden cock, he saw these kind of structure. And he named it cells. Alright, then there was a scientist, a biologist, Leeuwen Hook. This man in 1674 found or discovered the free living cell or cells in pond water for the first time What he found was a very simple structure, a single cell which has life and it was named amoeba. So, a unicellular means single cell organism was first discovered by Leeuwen Hook and then a guy named Robert Brown he is the one who discovered the nucleus of the cell. We'll talk uh, more about the nucleus and other organelles of the cell in the next video when we'll talk about the structure of the cell. And But uh, the basic thing is this is the nucleus. This is a cell and this cell this is called the nucleus and it was discovered by Robert Brown
and then a guy whose name was Perkinji this guy in 1839 used the term protoplasm which is also now in use this is used for the fluid substance of the cell so we'll talk about basic cell which has a nucleus there are other organelles organelles are the internal parts of the cell so and this there is a liquid inside the cell which is called protoplasm all right now we come to the cell theory the cell theory which was first given by the two biologists Schleiden or Schleiden 1838 and Sean in 1839 he gave the theory and said all animals and plants are composed of cells and secondly he said cell is the basic unit of life now this cell theory was further expanded it was expanded by Verco in 1855 this guy made a very important point which is all cells arise from pre-existing cells it means a new cell is an offspring of a pre-existing cell all right now we'll discuss about the cellular organism the cellular organisms are of two types unicellular and multicellular This unicellular organ organism is made up of one cell or single cell and it, it performs all the uh, metabolic activities what is required by that organism and uh, we have examples like amoeba Paramecium and bacteria, and multicellular organisms are the organisms made of more than or many cells or more than one cell. 
so uh, they are made of many cells examples are plants and animals and some fungi there's two very important point about cell the one is the shape and size of cells are related to a specific function they perform and each living cell has the capacity to perform certain basic functions that are characteristics of all living form and these uh, functions are performed by different parts of the cell which are called organelles so organelles are like the body parts of a body so organelles are parts of a cell which perform a specific jobs or functions for example clearing the waste up etc and uh, these parts are called actually the cell organelles and uh, all of the cells have the same organelles okay no matter what their functions are like uh, we have different parts we have in our face we have eyes a nose and several things but cell inside a cell which is uh, which the parts of our body made of have the same organelles if it is coming from our muscles or if it's coming from the bones the organelles are the same every time so thanks thanks for watching this video in the next video uh, we'll talk about the structure of the cell and uh, then there will be more one more video uh, about cell and then we'll we'll move on to the tissues Alright, thanks for watching this video again. Bye.